yeah sir in the last session we had a discussion about for loop we we had a discussion about for loop while loop okay we discussed already right sir now let me talk about just observe that for i in range of 10 i'm taking sir just for i in range of 5 i'm taking just a print of hello like this i'm taking just observe carefully sir what is the output by default you are going to get now sir five times hello by default will be printed in multiple lines sir, sir now my requirement is hello i don't want in the different lines like this hello i don't want in the different lines like this i want a hello in the same line only if you want a hello in the same line then we require to use end attribute okay like this are getting end attribute like this we require to use like now can you please observe hello 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 like this sir now now my requirement is sir are you able to see screen can you please scratch it are you able to see the screen can you please scratch it basaras only yourself is not can you please log out and log in again yeah here n is equal to like this if i am taking if i can take n is equal to n is equal to like this now just the space of taking sir if i can take space if i can take space sir hello in the middle space is going to come not required to keep any explanation about this terminology right okay sir not required to keep any explanation space is coming right now my requirement is i don't want a hello sir i want a star symbol are you getting i want a star symbol star symbol then automatically instead of hello you can take star symbol are you getting now what is the output by default you are going to get just observe that star 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 like this it is going to print correct or not sir what is the output we are going to get star 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 like this happily we are going to get the output sir sir now with this knowledge what i want i want to go for i want i want to go for a small what we call square i want to print this sir what is my required pattern i want i want to print various patterns what is the required style of the output is star 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 like this sir five times square square i want to print sir enter n number enter n n number there print those many number of rows and columns sir with this star are you able to understand if i entered five then this is the output i am expecting if i entered three if i entered three there this is the output i am expecting sir are you getting if i entered three this is the output i am expecting if i entered four this is the output i am going to expect if i entered five then this is the output i am going to expect are you getting this are you are provided n sir i want to print the square of stars sir. but here star to star in the middle space also there you have to identify that sir very very simple sir what i am taking is observe enter enter number enter number n is equal to in n is equal to input r n is equal to input r enter enter number of rows enter number of rows rows like this can you please enter that but make sure compulsory we require to convert into inter type because it's already already inter, inter type right oh it's internally represent into value now if i use a print r print r star space star space into n then automatically what is the output by default we are going to get sir sir n number of stars with the space separator by default we are going to get if you want you can observe that sir star followed by space how many times it's going to take sir five times it's going to take or if you entered some number that number of times it's going to come sir now have a look once yes man enter number of rows sir three if i'm trying to take then automatically three stars are coming if i can take four then obviously four stars are going to come if i can take five five stars is going to come everyone can able to understand right sir three stars four stars five stars how you are going to get now my question here is 
sir i don't want this only one row i want this one n number of rows if you enter three three rows i want three rows i want if you enter four four rows i want then automatically what we require to do here for i in for i in range of n are you getting for i in range of n print print star sir like sir each time it is going to print n number of stars this for loop is going to repeat n times then automatically n rows n rows are going to come each row will contain n number of stars if you want to observe a bit very carefully enter enter number of rows 3 then automatically the output is coming like this enter number of rows 4 then the output is coming in this style enter number of rows sir 5 then automatically it's going to come everyone in a position to understand this terminology yes are you feeling comfortable? Can you please print uh, stars, uh, sir, in the in the square pattern? This is so from our childhood downwards in C language, C plus plus Java, everywhere we have this type of terminology, right? Okay. So very simple, very simple, sir. So this line is going to print n number of stars because of this for loop. It is going to print n number of rows. Are you getting right? So uh, can you please uh, repeat this n times? Uh, in every every time print a number of stars any doubt in this example any doubt in this example can you please confirm any doubt in this example no okay excellent now i want to go for another small chota example what is my chota example e sir first time i want one star second time i want two stars Third time, I want three stars. I want three stars. Fourth time, I want four stars. Fifth time, I want five stars. Do you know something like uh, this is, uh, what is this one? Is it right angle triangle? Right angle triangle? Can you please confirm? Yo, right angle triangle or not? Uh, correct, right? Right angle triangle or not? Yes, this, uh, this one is nothing but right angle, 90 degrees. Okay, right angle triangle, right? So, right here, Python code to print right angle triangle form. Are you getting stars uh, in right angle triangle form? This is about my requirement, right? Sir, very, very simple, sir. What I require to take? Yes, what, what I require to take? Enter number of rows 5. Assume that enter number of rows n n n means 5 assume the for loop should be executed five times okay because five rows are there for loop should be executed five times five times paka but every time what i want to take is in the first row if it is the first row only one star if it is the second row two stars if it is the third row three stars means sir row number row number number and uh, those many number of times you can print a star then our life will become very easy sir if it is the first row first row one star two rows second row two stars third row three stars fourth row four stars fifth row five stars uh, like you require to take clear are you getting right yes how you can able to do that so before that what you have to give it a small thing you people should aware sir what is that a for i in range of n print i value if i print i value i value what is the output you are going to get do you know if i entered n if i entered n n n what is the i value by default you are going to get sir uh, what is the i value if i entered n as a 5 can you can you spell out what is the i value we are going to get please respond what is the i value we are going to get 0 to n minus 1 correct right 0 to n minus 1 we are going to get the output okay like but now i don't want starts from 0 because i don't want start from 0 because in the first row 1 in the second row 2 like this what i will take here is just uh, let me let me print uh, sir what 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 is the what, what i'm going to get here invalid literal for int one minute am i doing any mistake line I, I did some small mistake it seems yeah 
maybe alignment problem maybe alignment problem i don't think i don't think already it's executed right let me consider enter number of rows enter number of rows okay now i'm taking number of rows 5 then i value we are getting 0 1 2 3 4 no i want uh, 1 2 5 i want 1 2 5 then 1 comma n plus 1 we have to take sir 1 comma n plus 1 we have to take if i can take 1 comma n plus 1 now i will get you know now i will get okay like now can you please observe that what answer by default you are going to get yes 1 2 3 4 5 everyone can able to understand right so if you want to consider 1 2 n then automatically you require to take range of 1 2 n plus 1 like this you have to take any doubt about this one any doubt about this one i hope you are in a position to understand that right? okay so that's all for i in range of 1 2 n plus 1 like this then automatically i value is going to come sir sir now my my important conclusion here is yes what is uh, my objective just observe that my objective is yes sir, this is the thing i have to print first row first row sir one star second row two stars third row three stars fourth row four stars fifth row five stars like this we require to take sir very simple i'm i'm going to take here is just uh, for i in the first row one star right i means row number First time, what is the value? Please respond. First time, what is the value? Re respond, man. First time, I value one. So, in the first row, how many stars I want? One star. Second time, what is the value? Two. Then, how many stars I want? Two stars. Sir. Then, automatically, you can take star, space, okay, space into i. Oh, instead of taking n number of stars, n number of stars, just i number of stars i want okay so can you please repeat this for loop one to n times one to n times every time in every row print the star those many row number by sir means in the first row one time second row two times third row three times fourth row four times fifth row five times like this now have a look once about this one sir this one is nothing but right angled triangle. Are you in a position to see right? I hope. Are you in a position to see right? Are you respond man? Are you able to see? Sir, like is it our, our expectation or not? Four. Four. Okay, like. Sir, if I can take five, then automatically if I can take five, then automatically five stars by default is going to come. That's all friends. That's all. This is what you people should be aware. Huh? Like this one sir. Sir, very very simple sir what let me let me go for one more time because some people may or may not sir my requirement is observe that if i can take n is equal to one 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 star is required if i can take n is equal to two sir two rows are required like this are you getting two rows are required like this sir n is equal to three three rows are required like uh, this one sir four four rows are required like this okay five five rows are required like this this is about my requirement this is called right angle triangle remember this one so why it is called right angle triangle is if you observe that yes it is a 90 degrees regarding this is nothing but right angle triangle right okay this is that's why yeah generally we are going to use this one but now the point here is Take a bit very, very special care about this one. In the first row, how many number of stars are required? We oh, respond, first row, how many stars are required? One. Second row, two. Third row, three. Fourth row, four. Fifth row, five. Is nothing but like, like we have. Now, for i in range of 1, 2, n plus 1. 1, 2, n plus 1 means... Uh, do you know this range function is always going to consider 1 to n only. 1 to n plus 1 means 1 to n only it is going to consider. So, i value. What is the i value first time? Can you can you spell out? What is the i value first time? 1. i value second time? 2. i value third time? 3. 3. So, i, I means uh, the number of rows. Row number. Assume that. So, how many, how many stars I require to print, sir? 
print star space star space into i i number of times are you getting because first time i value is 1 then star is going to print one time next time i value the 2 then two times next time i value the 3 three times next time i value the 4 four times like this it's going to print sandosh are you able to understand yes okay here just observe a bit carefully sir so first read n number from the from the keyboard in int of input of enter number of rows enter number of rows like this i am taking sir okay assume that i got n number for i in range of 1 to n plus 1 for i in range of 1 to n plus 1 print of what i am taking uh, can you please guide i forgot santosh can you please guide i forgot what i have to take i have to print star how many times i have to print star how many times please respond how many times five uh, i have to print star i number of times i i number of times that's why sir star space into i number of times if i is the one one star if i is the two like this right now i will look once enter number of rows five then five stars enter number of rows sir six six stars are going to come enter number of rows seven seven stars by the part is going to come like this any doubt or any explanation is required is it very easy or not are you facing any difficulty to understand this code Ayo, are you facing any difficulty to understand this code respond man. okay no you can able to understand very easily right sir now my question is a bit small another trick trick i want to apply just observe that a bit carefully sir sir here i'm taking star symbols okay well no problem at all but now my requirement is i don't want star symbol sir i don't want star symbol i want uh, another symbol one one can you please print one next uh, can you please print one can you please print one okay can you please print one <laughs> one 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 like this this is the style i want what is the way uh, what is the way what is the way if you want this style what is the way just a replace a star with one what there inside it is the just a replace star with one one is going to be printed every time one is going to be printed every time remember that enter number of rows enter number of rows is nothing but seven then automatically one 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 like this is going to come sir any doubt any doubt up to this clear for all of you right okay now sir i want anyone can you please guide i want one here two two here three 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 four okay four sir four 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 like this five 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 <laughs> this is about my requirement man. five 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 like this what is the way sir how i can able to do that hmm how you can you can able to do that yes yes you have to print i i ah, how many times you require to print sir i number of times but here uh, i i i followed by space yes if you can take i within square bra within single quote then i symbol is going to print man rajesh i symbol is going to print not going to consider i value if you consider like that then it's going to print i symbol <laughs> are you getting i symbol is going to be considered then it's not going to uh, what is the way sir what is the way can you please tell yes very very simple very simple now here i'm taking s t r of 
i str of i correct str of i i am taking next the uh, next the uh, yes even str is also not required correct now the correct it is not required i i Instead, if you need to use, not required, not required. Navadi, can you please cross check? I hope it is not going to work. It seems. What what it is? What you are expect? What it is? I under then space. I space. It is not the what is the what is the, in the middle? I followed by space. I followed by space. what it means okay now here just observe maybe maybe it may it may you may have some here like uh, i can take uh, like this right yeah str of i str of i region region a bit very carefully sir str of i can you please convert str i i value into str plus a space okay this is my required thing into into how many times you want to take sir into how many times i want to take i times into how many times i require to take i times sir remember that okay maybe in the short note in the short way you can able to do that no don't worry just my intention is at the end am i getting some my required output or not enter the number of rows five then not one kill one two two three 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 four 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 like this enter the number of rows seven then not one kill like that enter the number of rows 9 then automatically like this are you getting right sir are you in a position to understand okay like uh, this is just a sample like uh, this type of styles you should have next up uh, one more sir is the very very common requirement sir the very very common requirement do you know first uh, i'm going to take pyramid style pyramid pyramid style If you can provide one, only one star like this, only one row means like this. If it is a two, then what I have to take pyramid, pyramid style, sir. Have you uh, do you know right pyramid style? Uh, just uh, Shivateja, why you are taking S T R of I? S T R of I, I means what the numeric value? Are you getting numeric value? But uh, I want to include space also. That's why. So plus operator, if you want to apply between two strings, plus operator, if you want to apply between two strings, ah, uh, compulsory both arguments should be strings only. So I is just a number, and the string empty string is nothing but it won't work. That's why compulsory convert that number into string form, then apply concatenation. Okay, like that. Sir, now my requirement is. pyramid style i want observe that sir what what style i want pyramid pyramid style i want sir suppose if i provide 5 5 observe very carefully sir if i provide 5 and n is the 5 sir here this is like this i am taking no sir pyramid style observe this one observe this star star like this next and after that star <laughs> one minute one minute yes star and then two stars and then three stars star 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 and then four stars star 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 you know this style is by default considered as pyramid pyramid correct this style itself is nothing but pyramid now how you can able to do that how you can you can able to do that first row sir here what is the n value this diagram is for what is the n value n value can you please tell four for n is equal to four i draw this diagram sir if n is equal to five same here of the first row one star second row two stars third row three stars fourth row four stars don't keep any doubt at all right yes so number of stars is always same but the problem here is position position is a very very important sir position is a very important now assume that assume that it is there 
in the first column sorry you have just observed one minute let me go for paint so that it will become a bit easy for all okay now have you have a look once sir so let me take first row one star second row two stars second row two stars third row three stars third row three stars okay like this fourth row four stars fourth row four four stars i'm taking fourth row four stars like this right any doubt any doubt total how many how many rows are there sir four four i mean four rows are there like now number of stars is always the same yes number of stars is always same as number of row row number row number first row one star second row two star third row three star fourth row four stars acceptable but the problem here is yes the position is the important first row somewhere in the middle it came second row a bit early it came third row a bit early fourth row is nothing but beginning only right sir now take very very special care sir sir if you observe if you observe that this is the first column position assume that one minute. okay this is the first column position this is the second column position observe that this is the third column position this is the fourth column position okay this is the fourth column position now anyway just the star is here assume that sir fourth column position this one now observe that next one fifth column position yes sir, sixth column position and then like anyway don't worry much about these things right that's all now my question is n is equal to 4 for n is equal to 4 this is the diagram i have observe that n is equal to 4 this is the diagram sir now here space 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 and then star in the first row first row after how many spaces star is coming please respond please respond after how many spaces star is coming in the first row first row row how many after three spaces excellent after three spaces sir star is coming in the second row after how many spaces a star is coming after how many spaces second row second row after two spaces excellent third row after how many spaces star is coming one space fourth row after how many spaces star is coming zero number zero number zero number excellent if you can able to analyze like there any type of pattern you can able to write the code man very simple now take a bit very very special care so first time three first row first row three star three spaces followed by star second row two spaces followed by star third row one space can i use the word number of spaces is nothing but n minus i correct or not if i is the row number n minus i is it going to fulfill all the row number of spaces can you please consider first row n is equal to 1 4 minus 1 3 second row i is equal to 2 4 minus 2 2 correct or not hey correct or not how many how many how many spaces we require n minus i number of spaces n minus i number of spaces i means row number n means total number of rows n means total number of rows i means row number n minus i n minus i number of spaces if we can able to do that then nothing is there in this example okay let me consider that let me consider that yes here yeah. don't don't worry about this for i in range of 1 to n plus 1 1 to n plus 1 1 to n plus 1 now i want to print the space how many times i require to print the space is n minus i number of times n minus i number of times we printed spaces we printed space 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 sir. how many number of times i require to print sir n n minus i number of times i require to print and then n is equal to empty okay well 
well so it is a, it is a very clear number of spaces printed after printing number of spaces now i require to print a star star can you please tell how many times i require to print a star anyone can you please tell how many times i require to print a star i require to print a star how many number of times i number of times i number of times print of print of can you please print the star star how many times right into i number of times are you getting into i i number of times i require to do that okay like now sir this is like this okay here this is for printing spaces this is for printing stars now observe that now observe whether my requirement is going to be fulfilled or not more analysis must be required beyond that nothing number of one one star is coming perfect number two i am taking two stars oh pyramid style you are going to see three three stars sir four four stars sir five five stars are you getting pyramid now seven seven stars is going to come any doubt after this is the clear for you people any explanation is required okay like this you can able to do any type of examples with this type of analysis right but anyway so that's all this is this is pyramid style next like this but in the sometimes in the enter your room you may require to talk about you may require to talk about these things okay like that's why for your practice sake i prepared a beautiful pattern examples right whenever you have the time better to practice whenever whenever you have the time better to practice these things are not going to discuss in the session not required also do you know how many patterns are there how many patterns are there you can expect almost around 120 patterns i took sir 120 patterns i took have you observed if you are seeing 120 patterns with the output and so on sir this is already we discussed next to this one okay next to this one have you observed right what is the what is the next to this if n is equal to sir next to this type of square i want are you getting one two three four this type of square i want or alphabet symbols i want i don't want the one two three four or i don't want stars alphabet symbols i want then automatically enter number of rows six okay sir like first column is always a second column is always b third column is always like this observe observe a bit carefully if i can take like this what is the output by default we are going to get sir observe that observe that here just uh, have a look once yes enter number of rows sir seven i'm taking there a a a a b b b and so on okay like clear okay now if you observe this all these things are different patterns right yes right angle triangle right angle triangle like this right right angle triangle reverse of right angle triangle are you getting reverse reverse of right angle triangle like uh, sir we had multiple things we had multiple multiple things right okay like uh, now sir this is have you observed right just now we covered pyramid style just now we covered pyramid pyramid style but anyway here this is not a regular pyramid one three five seven nine something like it's going to come sir okay like multiple multiple things sir sir all the answers also by default we have reverse reverse pyramid sir have you observed reverse pyramid okay i want the pyramid in reverse reverse like this how you can able to do that enter number five i'm taking then automatically like like by default you are going to get are you getting enter again number five i'm taking like this right next the uh, uh, like have you observed right like if you consider there are big big examples we cover sir big big examples we discuss sir don't worry about that okay sir do you know christmas tree have you ever heard about christmas tree christmas christmas tree yes can you please write a pattern for christmas tree like this right then automatically enter a number enter a number 10 i'm taking enter a number 10 10 i'm taking sir sir <laughs> are you getting so you can able to say christmas tree are you getting just more analysis more perfection must be required if you are going to do that 
then automatically i'm sure you people can can expect uh, sub perfection in the subject are you getting right okay like almost around 120 patterns i prepared sir just uh, go through these things here you know how beautiful style in the middle i want i want the spaces are you getting it's a it is a something like permit only but i want the spaces in the middle are you getting i want spaces in the middle like uh, multiple multiple scenarios by default here yeah. next uh, each and every alphabet symbol each and every alphabet symbol we can able to design with the stars are you getting yeah which alphabet symbol you want a i want then automatically a style we are going to print digital not you know digital letters we are going to print right like that we can able to do that sir a small small chota coding kind of thing now enter your name durga then it's going to print with the stars d u r g a such a type of applications you can able to develop sir that's uh, that much in the digital boards and so on so train number okay one two three four from hyderabad to mumbai will start like in the digital boards you can able to see in the railway stations right how those things are going to be a small sort of program internally the responsible which is going to print that okay like in that style we can able to do like so if you have not required to practice not required to practice all 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 programs anyway not required to practice all but uh, but uh, make sure sir but make sure at least the 50 50 programs better to practice at least the 50 programs better to practice sir now observe the enter your number five okay how beautiful it is are you getting right okay diamond shape diamond diamond shape right okay now if i can take uh, if i enter enter number some 10 i'm taking then automatically do you know diamond diamond at 10 by default sir i'm not writing these things i'm, I'm i write a program so i write a program to print these type of things okay but anyway in the classroom not recommended to explain all one by one one by one because to explain all these 120 patterns minimum one month time i require to spend not required just the, if the people who are very much interested already in our materials folder yes patterns like pdf file will be there download that pdf file and then happily you can practice clear any doubt can i go to the next level okay are you going to practice how many people are going to practice these examples can you please confirm Sir, I'm interested to practice. Can you please confirm? Santosh, Divya, Seema. It's, it's available in the folder, material folder. Can you please cross check? Yes, better to practice. Better to practice. Okay. So because these things are not going to be explained in the classroom, not recommended also. You have to analyze, you have to write the code, but executable code already I share. So that already sample code is there with you. Why that lines are coming like, uh, yes, you can. All the pattern examples. Okay, like that. So I hope it is there, more like, if it is not there, I will, I will share, don't worry about that. It's already shared in the material. Still, if it is not there, then I will do that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Sir, up to this is the clear. Mm, can you can you please check uh, Durga Sapt Online 7 shared folder? Or like you checked in which folder? Which folder you checked? Durga Sapt Online 7. Better to check. Maybe sync problem. I will. So I will make sure. Don't worry about that. I will share all these things. Why? Yeah, you are not required to work. Sir, now next cinema, what I want to take here is transfer statements. Are you getting that? What's the next one, sir? Transfer statements. Transfer, transfer statements I want to take. Sir, which are transfer statements? There are multiple things are available, right? So break, continue, break, continue, like this. We, we, we require break and continue. Very common use of transfer statements, right? Sir, pass a statement like break continue pass all those things I will discuss. Sir, first anyway, break statement. Listen carefully, sir. Sir, now what is break? What is break? Break. Sir, my requirement is happily loop is continuing. Happily, the car is going with the 70 percent speed. 70, 70 kilometers or otherwise 100 kilometers speed the car is going on. 
Suddenly someone came opposite. Sudden break. Now it came to zero. Are you getting? It, it, the total, you will come out of that. Are you getting? You will come out of that. Sir, happily for loop is executing. Some condition met. Are you getting? My required thing already happened. My required thing already came. Then immediately, I'm not required to continue that for loop. Can you please come out of the loop? Can you please come out of the loop like this? Sir, assume there is a shell is there. The shelf is there, sir. In that shelf, your books are there. Like, like the books, books are there, sir. You want to search for your book. First book, it is not mine. Second book, it is not my required. Third book, it is not my required. Tenth book, it is my required book. Immediately, I will take that book and I will come out of that. So I don't want to continue search operation. Are you getting? So inside for loop, inside for loop, based on some condition, if you want to come out of the loop because your required activity already completed, are you getting? Then you will you will come up with a break statement, right? Sir, what it means? Very simple. Because I don't think you people are going to uh, get some new thing because it already we discussed it hundreds of times in our last session, sir. C language, C++, everywhere, sir. For i in range of 10. For i in range of 10. Sir, my requirement here, print of i. Print of i, i, like this, like I'm taking. Then 1 to 10, then 0 to 9. All the things by default we are going to get, sir. Just now I told. Just now I told. Zero to zero to nine. Ah, uh, zero to nine. All the things. Sorry, sir. I don't want zero to nine, sir. Up to seven. If I value the seven, stop, stop. You are not required to continue, sir. Or if I value the five, stop. You are not required to continue, sir. What I will take is if I if I is equal to five. If I is equal to five, that's all. Break, sir. Break, break. Sir, otherwise, if it is not a 5, then happily print that. So, first i is equal to 0. 0. 0 is not 5. Print that. Next i is equal to 1. 1 is not 5. Print that. Whenever i is equal to 5, break, break, you will come out of the loop. Regarding you will, you will come out of the loop, loop like this side. So, something like, if i is equal to 5, if i is equal to 5, print ah, processing is enough. Okay, processing is enough, enough, not required to continue, not required to continue, just a stop, just a stop, just a stop, stop, like this, right? Okay, next, other way, processing item, are you getting that? Just, uh, I'm using the word processing item, processing item, item, like this, processing item, item. Can you please tell, what is the output body from here going to get? Available ones, available one. Processing 0, processing 1, processing 2, processing 3, processing 4. So now processing is enough, not required to continue, just a stop, just a stop. So based on some condition, if you want to come out of the loop, then we should go for, what, what sir, then we should go for break statement. Any doubt? I have please response. Any doubt? What is the purpose of break statement? To break loop execution based on some condition, then we should go for break statement. Right? Now, I'm ready to go for next example. I mean, one more, one more meaningful example, sir. What I want to do is, sir, I have a list, list of items are available, sir. Sir, whose prices are, sir, L, L is equal to, just observe that, cart is equal to, online shopping application, cart is equal to, 10, 20, 20. Yet see this one 10 comma 20 comma some 600 600 comma 60 comma 70 is there 600 comma 60 comma 70 70 is there sir now my question is observe i want to process these items i want i want to process these items but if any item value greater than 500 insurance must be required because in india we are not having any such type of restriction but if you go for US uh, online shopping, if any item greater than some $100 or $200 uh, without insurance, uh, you can't process that item. Are you getting right? So just uh, it is processing first item, second item. But whenever 600 is coming, sorry, sir, I can't, can't, I can't place this order because insurance must be required. I'm stopping this one. Are you getting? Please bring the insurance. Then only I can able to continue. Are you getting? Sorry, I can't process this order. Something like that. Now observe that. Observe it carefully, sir. I'm taking 
cot is equal to some uh, cot cot is equal to some 10 comma 20 comma 600 comma 50 comma 60 like this i'm taking sir 50 comma 60 like this this is the list of list of items i'm taking sir for each item in cart for each item in in cart in cart now if item if item greater than 500 if item is greater than 500 then immediately you have to take print print up so to place this order insurance must be required to place this order insurance must be insurance must be required Are must be required okay like i'm telling that insurance must be required like this i'm telling that just a break you are not required to execute the loop otherwise just a processing item print off processing uh, print off processing item item okay like uh, what is that item number i ask uh, what is that item is item any doubt can you please tell what will happen it will process 10 it will process 20 but whenever 600 is coming sorry man i can't continue stop i can't continue stop stop break break the loop execution based on break the loop execution like this right how you can able to do a yes say this one processing 10 processing 20 to place this order insurance must be required sorry i can't continue just i'm stopping the loop execution if you want such type of requirement then happily we can go for break statement break statement we can use inside the loop break statement we can use inside the loop inside loops to break the loop execution based on some condition any doubt any doubt up to this what's the purpose of break to break loop execution based on some condition then we should go for break statement right okay next uh, we will go for continue pass up to this any doubt please respond so that i can continue further up to this is the clear then okay what is the next cinema we require to talk about continue okay continue means sir you know suppose i have loop is there sir assume assume that i have some while loop or otherwise some loop some some loop is there sir assume that sir some loop is there observe that carefully sir this loop contain wo oh, thousand lines of the code body loop body contain thousand lines of the code yet at this point of time sir almost this loop is going to execute 10 times assume that 10 times now first time i'm executing sir first time i'm executing like this sir somewhere i identified that you are not required to continue current iteration current iteration you are not required to continue skip current iteration go for next iteration skip current iteration go for next iteration continue for the next iteration so inside loops sir based on some condition so to skip current iteration and continue for the next iteration if you have that then we should go for continue statement are you getting right sir sometimes sir, what i want to do i want to print i want i want to print only even numbers i want to print only even number if the number is the odd number you are not required to print go for next iteration go for next iteration like that if you have such a type of requirement then happily we can go for happily happily we 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 can go for okay like like a continuous statement right sir observe that a bit carefully observe that for i in range of for i in range of 10 sir 0 to 9 i want to print only even numbers regarding i want to print only only even numbers even numbers what i will take if if i percentage 2 is equal to 0 after that if i percentage 2 is equal to 0 0 okay assume is not equal to 0 assume that or otherwise what i will take sir i want to print only odd numbers then you can able to understand i want to print only odd odd numbers then. if i percentage 2 is equal to 0 means even number even number means you are not required to continue man go for next i value go for next i value then continue go for next i value then continue sir no 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 it is not the even number it is the odd number only then automatically print up i value 
that's all observe that sir very simple i will i will check either i got the even or not if it is the even number if it is the even number continue sir continue for the next iteration are getting if it is not even then only this statement is going to be executed so clear indication that inside loop inside loops sir this run some condition are getting this run some condition to skip current iteration and continue for the next iteration happily we can go for what continue statement right any doubt any doubt what is the output we will get in this case can you please tell what is the output we are going to get in this case please respond what is the output we are going to get in this case only odd numbers only odd numbers by default we are going to get 1 3 5 7 9 only odd number if it is the even number without printing continue continue like this sir one more more meaningful example just you people can able to understand very very easily right so now assume assume that assume that we covered have you remember right yes cot example 10 20 650 60 if item greater than 500 sir if item greater than 500 okay to place this order insurance must be required insurance must be required just uh, uh, we can't process this item we can't process this item this item okay that's all so don't break just uh, skip that item skip that item and continue and continue for the next item are you getting don't come out of the loop are sir at the beginning only i'm going to tell sir if for any product insurance is required just yes, remove that product in the billing no problem for me are you getting right so if anywhere item greater than 500 is there sir simple is going to tell that sorry you can't place this order you can't you can't place this order this order item like this i'm taking sir sorry you can't place this order this order okay for this item, I have to place this order. Insurance must be required. Sorry, we can't process this item. No problem. Skip this item. Go for next item. Skip this item. Go for next item. Can you please observe that? Can you please observe that? Processing 10. Processing 20. But 600. To place this order, insurance must be required. We can't process this item. No problem. Continue for the next item. Processing item 50. Processing item 60. Best example to understand where the continuous statement is there. Even something in the middle huh, goes wrong. No problem. Skip, skip that. Go for next item. Go for next item. If you have such a type of requirements, better to go for. If you have such a type of requirements, better to go for. What is this one? Continuous statement. Clear? Any doubt? What is the break? And what is the continue? Continuous statement, right? Okay? Like that. Next, uh, another example I'm going to take so that you people can get much, much clarity, sir. Very, very simple. What I'm taking, I have a list of numbers are there. Assume that I have a list of, a list of numbers are there, sir. 10, okay, 20, 10, 20, next to 0, comma, 5, comma, 0, comma, 30 is there. Assume that. A list of numbers are available, right? Now what I want to take is, every number of course i want to divide 100 with every number with with these numbers so first time 10 i want to print 100 by 10 next time 100 by 20 next time 100 by 0 next time 100 by 5 like this i have to print but the problem here is if n value is 0 then you will get a zero digit error are getting you will get zero digit error if the problem sir that's why what you can able to do is that's why what what you can able to do that is if n is equal to zero ignore that ignore that continue go for the next number ignore that continue for the next next number okay like now how you can able to do that very simple for each n in numbers for each n in numbers if n is equal to zero if n is equal to 0, what I am taking? Print off, print off. Hello, stupid. Hello, stupid. How we can divide with 0? How we can divide with 0? 0. Uh, how you can divide with 0? Just skipping this value. Just skipping. 
just a skipping okay like you can just a skipping like this i'm taking and then go for next item go for next item sir continue continue is nothing but and then go for next item are you getting if it is not zero sir no problem at all print a uh, print a uh, just i'm taking 100 by 100 by sir like this is equal to like do you know at our childhood somewhere we covered sir this is the string replacement operator 100 by sir this value is equal to this like dot format r dot format r first one means n value comma second one means 100 by n okay like are you getting right first time 100 by 10 perfect sir second time 100 by 20 perfect it's going to get Huh, sir, whenever zero is coming, hello, stupid. How we can divide with the zero? Just a skipping. 100 by 5, okay, 25 and 0. Perfect. Next, hello, stupid, again zero is coming. 100 by 30, 3.33 and so on. Any doubt? So, what the purpose of continuing, sir? Skip one item, skip the current item, continue for the next iteration. Then, you can go for continue. Sir, I don't want to continue, sir. I will come out. I want to come out of the loop because I can't I can't continue for the remaining element. Sorry. I want to come out, come out of the loop. Then automatically happily you can go for that. Happily we can we can go for that. Yes, sir. This break statement, right? Clear? Where you require to use break, where you require to use continue, not required to give much explanation, right? Okay. So Santo uh, this is the format. Format. Okay, format method E for the string anywhere replacement operator is there. This replacement operator, okay, replacer with this value. First curly braces, replacer with this one. Second curly braces, replacer with this one. Okay, like that. this is nothing but string format formatting, string formatting with the replacement operator. Okay, we will discuss in the string concept don't worry we will uh, there is a, there is uh, that concept is there we are going to discuss okay somewhere we covered already in the last session so just a basic idea that's all next uh, can i go for can i go for loops with else block loops with else block so yeah yeah Shesha, yeah you can ask the question Yes, share, share. Yes. Break and continue always going to be used inside loops based on some condition. That's why we are using if. Break and continue always come in the loops. Like that you can consider. Next, uh, most of the times, based on some condition only, you are going to break. Based on some condition only, you are going to continue. That's why in general, these things always based on some conditional check. Nested loops already we discussed in the last session. Infinite loops and nested loops. Have you remembered right loop inside a loop? Yes, are you able to understand up to this? Any explanation is required? Any explanation is required? Okay, now, yeah, what is the next thing I have to talk about that is, sir, this type of terminology is not there in any other languages. Remember, sir, what will happen is, just to take a bit very very special case sir. here the best example we covered already in the last last example is like this now observe sir here if you if you consider this one just have a look once again observe carefully sir 10 20 60 
10 20 60 50 60 like this for each item in cart for each item in cart if item is greater than 500 so to place this total order insurance must be required that's why i can't place this order just stopping stopping your order processing like just a break it will come out are you in a position to understand that okay sometimes what will happen is so there is a possibility to execute break statement inside the loop or not i respond so some breaks are there some breaks are there in the middle so because of that break statement you will come out of the loop there is a possibility you are going to use break statement inside loop there is a possibility right now observe that observe that yes here name item <coughs> yes observe that here 10 and 20 processor successfully but to place this order insurance must be required so i'm stopping order processing like break it will come out can you please tell by seeing this output are you feeling break statement executed or not please respond are you feeling break statement is executed or not yes break executed if a break is not executed then automatically all the five elements will be processed suppose assume that suppose assume that assume that break statement not executed assume assume in this case in this case can you please tell break is going to execute or not executed please respond break will be executed or won't be executed break break won't be executed observe all the items will be processed successfully right now my requirement is if the loop executed without a break sir if a loop executed loop executed executed without the break without the break if you want to do if you want to do any activity okay then we should define that activity we should define that activity that activity inside inside okay l sub block inside l sub block let me repeat again observe that sir so if a loop executed without the break if i want to do any activity then we should define that activity inside l sub block first where you have to take l sub block sir so look generally where you are going to take else part else else can you please tell with the if you are going to take with the if you are going to take else but in python else you can take everywhere sir even for loop else is also possible even while loop else is also possible observe that okay don't feel that else is always applicable only for if that is the dangerous point in c language c plus plus java everywhere else is always associated with if only but in python else is associated with for else is associated with while also so in the case of loops in the case of loops when else part is going to be executed if a loop executed without a break if you want to do any activity then we should define that then we should define that activity okay inside else block remember that sir for even even do you know try catch finally blocks try accept finally try accept finally try accept else finally <laughs> here see this one sir so something like the people who are coming from java background java background they have try catch finally here yeah, try instead of catch we are going to use the word accept accept sir finally the same try is the same finally but instead of catch we are using accept in this case also l spot will be there sir in this case also l spot will be there else block is there so else is there everywhere in the python remember that sir okay so for for loops it is there for if it is there for exception handling also it is there sir in the case of for loop and while loop when the else part will be executed it will be if for if for loop executed without any break statement all the things are successfully processed then we have to talk about then we require to talk about else block clear right just to give you that terminology if i will go for small chota example then you can able to understand very clearly right now observe that observe that 600 is also there sir so maybe a chance to execute break 
okay now i'm taking else block else block print can you please tell just now i told when else is going to be executed all right when else will be executed if the break if if the loop executed without the break are getting if the loop executed without the break then only else part is going to be executed correct or not if the loop executed without the break then only else part is going to be executed okay remember so without the break without the break sir if the loop executed then only the control comes to else part oh without the break means all items processor successfully now i want to take congratulations congratulations all items all items processor successfully okay successfully i want to print sir now observe this part sir here 10 20 50 60 i'm taking 10 20 50 60 i'm taking sir can you please tell in this case else part will be executed or not please respond else part will be executed or not yes if uh, um, one minute one minute one minute there is one small one doubt from the student sima just uh, wait for a minute i will explain can you please tell in this case else part will be executed or not gopi why it's not going to execute why it's not going to execute when the else will be executed one minute one minute most of the people are going to fail sir else we are using with the if no no we can use else with the for loops also okay this is for else this is while else remember this one this is for else this is while else else like this right now here we are using this while loop under uh, this else block under for not the under if sema i hope you can able to understand this else is associated with the for not associated with the if remember it is not if else i'm using for else sir when the else part associated with the for loop will be executed if for loop executed without the break then only else part will be executed in this scenario in this scenario okay else part in this scenario okay else part will be executed or not you have to tell can you please observe how many items are there 10 20 50 60 only four items are there sir all the four items will be processed normally break statement never going to execute are you getting break statement never never going to execute right so that's why sir else part is going to execute if you want to observe the if you want to have a once processing item 10 processing item 20 50 60 congratulations all items processed successfully like this suppose assume one item is there with the 600 value one item is there with a 600 value can you please tell in this case else block will be executed or not please respond in this case else part will be executed or won't be executed respond else block is not going to be executed what is the reason for that why why else part is not going to be executed sir what the reason reason for that because break statement is going to be executed because some item value is greater than 500 that's why now observe the output you are going to get this congratulations and so on such a type of thing you won't get if you want to observe that processing item 10 processing item 20 to play this order insurance must be required are you getting processing item 10 processing item 20 to place this order insurance must be required are you getting here only break statement else part is not going to be executed are you getting continue and else no relation gopi usually you are going to use else inside while loop if you are going to use break if you are not going to use break there is no use of using else okay that's all now take a bit special care else is associated with for loop else is associated with the while loop also 
remember yes after else remaining statements will be executed no problem at all after else multiple print statements we are able to run yes why not you can yes thanks for using our application thanks for using our application like this i want to print i want to print okay now here 500 is not there okay or otherwise it is there now observe that have a look once processing item 10 processing item 10 processing item 20 to play this order insurance must be required thanks for using our application assume that suppose 600 is not there not there then automatically 600 is not there in this case else is also going to be executed processing item 10 20 50 60 Congratulations, all items processed successfully. Thanks for using our application. I hope all the doubts by default clarified. Sir, continue. You are not going to use break. Continue means uh, else part is not required. If you are going to use also, no problem. It's always going to execute. It is always, else is always associated with break. For loop, for loop, else means loop without break. Loop means, uh, I mean, else means loop without break. Remember that. Else means loop without the break. Without the break. That's all. Clear, right? Okay. Sir, now these are various things what you people should be aware, right? Okay. Just uh, two minutes I have. Uh, just uh, two minutes, I have some more entry questions, some more small, small loopholes I will discuss. Uh, yes, yes, Tulsi. Else will work only for break. You, you are not going to use anywhere else. Okay? If you want to use else for the for loop or while loop, inside while loop or for loop, break is there, then only meaningful to use. Without break also you can use, but not, not that much meaningful because Without loop executed, without the encounter break, then only else is going to execute. Means it always talks about the break statement only. Okay, next step. Now my question is, can you please tell what is the difference between while loop and for loop? Anyone? Anyone, sir? What is the difference between while loop and for loop? While loop and for loop? Please, please spell out. What is the difference between while loop and for loop? For loop, very simple. Suppose, what is the, what is the syntax, right? For each item in some sequence, in some sequence, okay? Do some operation, do some operation like this. Now, sir, for each item present in the given sequence, if you want to do certain activity, then we should go for for loop. Remember this one, sir. We can use for loop, sir. Sir, we can repeat code for every item in the sequence. Can you please do this activity for every item in the sequence? If you have such a type of requirement for loop, sir, then what is the while? Do some condition, sir. While some condition, while, while some condition, some condition, some condition, uh, while some condition, do some operation, do some operation like that. Yes, along, yes, condition is true. Yes, along the, yes, condition is true. Execute this code. Are you getting execute this code? Yes, along the, yes, condition is true. Execute this code. Then automatically we can go for while loop. Remember this based on some condition. If I want to do yes, uh, I want to do perform some operation. Yes, along the, yes, some condition is true. Then we should go for while loop. Once uh, that condition fails, uh, then it will be stopped. Remember that. Similarly, for every item in the given sequence, for every item in the given sequence, if you want to do certain operation, then we should go for for loop. Clear, right? Sir, when we should go for for, when we should go for while loop, right? Okay? Repeat code for every item in sequence is called for loop. Repeat code, yes, long as some condition is the true, that is called while loop. That's all. Next, how to exit from the loop? I want, I want to come out of the loop. Can you please tell what is the way? I want to come out of the loop. What is the way? How to exit, how to exit loop execution. Can you please break, break it the statement. Are you getting? Break itself with the statement. Can you please come out of the loop itself with the break statement, right? Next up, how to skip current iteration 
and continue for the next iteration. I want to skip current iteration and continue for the next iteration. Can you please tell? Can you, can you, can you, can you spell out? How to skip current iteration and continue for the next iteration? Then automatically continue statement we require to use. Next, the question number uh, just four. When else part will be executed? Any, any doubt? When else part will be executed? Uh, if a loop executed without the break, uh, then only else part will be executed. Clear, right? If loop executed without the break, then only else part will be executed. That's all. These are some important points about loops, break, continue, and else. Next, uh, there are some more things are there. What is the purpose of pass, pass statement? What is the need? What is the purpose of pass statement? Next and after that, what is the need of sir, uh, pass, delete statement? Pass statement, delete, delete statement, like we are going to discuss. And after that, immediately we require to start the string concept, right? There I will discuss much more things. After this, any doubt?